Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So I wanted to just touch on this one. We have a 6.1 over in Japan as far as earthquakes go. And it's at 40 kilometers deep. So this is some of that energy transfer that we were talking about, although it is smaller than what it can be. So there might definitely be more coming in. I would rather expect that as well. There's a lot coming when it comes to the Middle East and Iran and Israel. As you see, the CIA has supposedly warned that Netanyahu that Iran could attack Israel within 48 hours. There was reports of airspace over Iran being cleared out in certain areas. Israeli Air Force is on alert <clears throat> and problems with GPS, so GPS jamming ongoing last night lots of people uh leaving uh targeted areas as you see the city of haifa is jammed israelis fleeing as they're scared of potential italian italian iranian retaliation um me all the meanwhile there's been so many protests against netanyahu and his government uh by the the people inside israel again i do really think most people in the world would rather peace even though there are some people um that are still totally totally in the dark as to the real situation probably the majority of the planet still doesn't have a clue of what's really going on behind the scenes mm -hmm. oh i know they're just ju they're just a breath away from uh, the control matrix doing something once again to dislodge people, to throw people off their center so that they stop worrying about the, the controllers and they start worrying about their own lives because they have to. And, and that's really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Life should not be that way. That is not fair. Um, that's, that's not a symbiotic way to live. It's very parasitic and it's just wrong. Meanwhile, there were attacks on Iran and in, interestingly enough some reports also saying people came in from the Pakistani uh, side as well as launching attacks on five military and security headquarters in Iranian cities of Chabahar and Rask so it, this is really it's it's a non-stop attempt at es escalation is what's you know going on and it does seem like I, I think humanity would love for all this to just stop because we, we know we're being pushed to the edge of the cliff and we're getting closer and closer to that cliff and understand that once you go over that cliff, it's just a mess. And you have Colonel Douglas McGregor. He's been making the rounds, making a lot of statements uh, on a lot of different channels. Netanyahu must escalate to survive well that's exactly what happened last time they were outside his house all of a sudden you know that's when this all started to happen if he drags the u.s into this we'll end up fighting russia and china he should put there directly and you could add uh, another dozen nations at least most of the u.s political class is bought and paid for by the israeli lobby yeah, this is, you know, very, very deep. And this is, again, it's it's an illusion. It, there's layers to this illusion. And, you know, it's like you peel back one layer, all of a sudden somebody gets it. They realize a, a certain level of the distortion, but they don't see past that. And then all of a sudden they might all of a sudden see past that. But there's still another level and another level and another level. It's a pyramid. It, it, it's a pyramid. It keeps going up, up, up to that all-seeing eye, which is not human. Mm -mm, yeah, I, I think that's where people really, really get stuck. But they they can't completely dismiss it. You know, once it's in there, once it's in the mind and they start to look at things and they really cannot make any sense of why the world is with why is this world ran this way if you know you can clearly see those in charge are not making competent decisions for others when they say they care about other people and they're in leadership positions because they care about other people yet their actions are completely bass backwards in accordance to their words um, you can't help but sit with that question until you figure out that it's not humans doing it to humans no and, and you probably could get from somebody that was fundamentally minded 
in Islam that jinns control humans and cause all sorts of chaos and destruction. And you could get it from Christians that Satan controls, you know, top level humans and causes all sorts of chaos and destruction. But then if you say, well, <clears throat> the reality is it's aliens and interdimensional beings, then all of a sudden it's crazy. Yeah, right. uh, yeah everything again is ass backwards in this world. But you can't stop the awakening because it's going to be just obvious. Those belief systems will be blown to bits in within five years time. Absolutely. Uh, it'll be realized, oops, we were wrong. <laughs> Probably a lot less than that for most people. As you see, 75 years of NATO. Oh, wow. Thanks a lot. Yeah. What? NATO's kept you safe from from what? The disasters that they've created along with the rest of the governments of the world there is no good government on this world none there's no worthwhile government that's the big big reveal because all governments are one government absolutely ultimately that is the real secret so you have a letter addressed to uk prime minister from over 600 legal experts including for former supreme court president lady hale condemning the uk's <clears throat> armed trade with Israel is a violation of international law because we know, you know, he is a, a weefer and, you know, there's so many weefers out there. The, these are people that ultimately are in a secret society of sorts. You know, the Club of Rome is another one, the Trilateral Commission. You know, our Council on Foreign Relations, when you look to the, the different Masonic lodges and Etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. When what happens when you get to 33rd degree and all? Well, then you just you're you're let into the Brill Club, which tells you that humans are not in control. This is all an illusion. This this is all an illusion at the top. Now we keep humans hating other humans and wondering why are their governments so incompetent? Their government governments are very competent. The purpose of government is to keep humans in the dark, and humans are totally in the dark. But at the same time, you do have people at those lower levels just just below that, that knowing, the real knowing level, that are waking up and saying, this isn't what I signed on for. Uh, I, I, I just can't see how this is right. I just can't see how we can do this. And now they haven't been let through that last door where they realize who Satan really is. So you will have some of that. And our hope is that that swamps and overwhelms the system, force the system to show its hand, its true hand. Have it take off its mask like Blue Kachina. Because what is that, the mask of Blue Kachina coming off? The mask of the Red Kachina coming off. It's the illusion that it's it hasn't been uh, extraterrestrial the whole time. And you know perhaps it is the fact that what we've taken to be comets are really ships. And when we look to this, JB drained the Strategic Petroleum Reserve down to 17 days and yesterday canceled the order on the refill uh, because now it's getting to be too expensive to refill it. We'll wait till later. We'll wait till actually the U.S. is taken over by Uncle Xi and, uh, and Pooty Poot. Yeah, absolutely. You, you cannot say that what's gone on in governance is sane from the perspective of looking at government as actually trying to take care of its people while well, these guys are the most incompetent people in the world or that's never been their purpose it's it's actually the second it's the latter it's never been their purpose their purpose is to do what they are told the Fed posts record loss of $114.3 billion in 2023. This is, this is the first time uh, that we've seen a negative income from the Federal Reserve. Now, the Federal Reserve is not federal. It's private banks. It's, it's, it's these same banks like Chase and Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Ultimately, it's the same families like the Rockefellers and the Morgans and the Rothschilds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They've been making profit off of us coming and going. They, they steal our money from us and they lend it back to us. Aren't they nice? Well, you know, I mean, there's there's taxes, taxes everywhere. When you when you work, you get taxed on that money. When you 
buy something, you get taxed on that. When you sell something, they want to take the tax for that. And, and it's this endless loop. loop. It's, it's a racket. And it's so easy to see at a certain point. Um, you know, what do you do, though? I mean, we, ha we have all this information. What can one person do? And the truth is, is get out of the system. Stop supporting the system. Become self-sufficient. That really is our only move that I can see that's going to make a big difference, but it's not going to happen overnight. Meanwhile, in Scotland, they had this new hate law, uh, hate crime law that they put into effect. So if you speak up in, against certain things like, you know, uh, what's the author's name? J.K. Rowling is, is, has said that men are men, women are women. That's a hate crime. Wow. You could go to jail for that. Yeah. Or be fined. You know, that's, that's just, this is where we are now. They're rolling forward with their agenda and in places that they can put the laws in effect, they are. And they're still, though, it, it's a matter of having humans move forward and continue to uh, support the system that is oppressing humanity. When humans refuse to support a ridiculous system that's so obviously against humanity, then we'll have some real change. Although they're ready for that, and this is why they're introducing all these drones and robotic components into our life. It's, it's like Star Wars. Do you guys remember in Star Wars uh, where that clone army was being made off-planet, and then all of a sudden they introduce the clone army, which comes and saves uh, the quote-unquote good guys. But in reality... <laughs> That's the army of tyranny coming to enslave uh, the good guys. And that's exactly what's going on, too, behind the scenes, you know, because there, there is a massive, we've heard reports, we've, we've shared, and other channels, uh, there's others out there that have specifically focused on this component with the robotics, these companies like Boston Dynamics and all those DARPA initiatives, uh, and the fact Russia is, is, is putting out into the field, you know, battle drones and battle robots for the first time. China has an army of them. They are the ones that are targeted to, to win this battle or at least come to a point of complete destruction with the U.S. and NATO so that they can reveal something else that's been hidden the whole time. Uh, again, you're going to see Elon take front and center, but a lot of people have already caught up to that too. You know, this is the thing. We, our consciousness is, some of us are, are going at light speed now, and we're starting to be able to play chess with them, as they've always been many steps ahead. But now, you know, the awakening, which is, is really coming to us again from, from light. It's coming from the sun, and it's going to come from galactic origins as well. It's literally changing and awakening the DNA because humans are multidimensional beings. Well, we are, and that's another thing that is completely hidden from us. And, you know, we were looking at this here and, and Band-Aid, you know, those simple things that you put on your skin when you have a little owie you might want to reconsider that because they're finding out that it has a lot more in it than uh, one would bargain for and the problem with these uh, these chemicals that are in in the band-aids and in other things and sticky <laughs> sticky things and parents who innocently buy these cute little band-aids for their children which i i'm guilty of they are so cute so adorable and they help with any ouchie ouchie and boo-boo um those those are not so good so when this stuff in, enters your skin it actually activates and it can be fed off of by parasites now they have found that parasites can cause cancer and there's cancer causing forever chemicals found in band-aids and that is just so so sad um but it really creeped me out when i was doing some research and some study on diseases that uh the the that's what parasites feed on also isopropyl alcohol if you're using those kinds of things to clean your hands you probably want to switch up to something different you know there's a lot of natural lotions if you put a barrier on your skin this is helpful too um but you you don't want to be using a lot of those uh uh, 
isopropyl alcohol, those wipes, you don't want to use a lot of those, you know, because these parasites, again, they feed off of it. It's, it's really horrible. Yeah, everyday protection. <laughs> sure. Oh, they, they keep selling us stuff. And meanwhile, humans will not be riding around in planes anymore, which, you know, for many, their visions and things that we've gotten used to of having like an amazing uh, vacation and getting away to Hawaii or Aruba or the Caribbean for those who are able to do things like that. Y you know, this, this is something that, that allots humans too much freedom in what's to come. Yukon finally arrives in Arizona for the Final Four after a plane nightmare. Yeah, again, more mechanical problems. And so the plane that they were supposed to depart on had mechanical issues. This this was not a big plane either. You know, these these are usually smaller uh, jets. Interesting, you know, um, we've gotten from the guides that it might not be too far off. It, it could even be uh, starting when we have the war starting, which is probably, you know, within a couple of months time. And certainly could be any time any time after the eclipse is is basically uh, it, it could be any time after the eclipse. Human mobility needs to be limited before uh, the Anunnaki arrive back out in in public in the open, and we've gotten that they will be taking charge of the cell cities, the smart cities, those that want to go back in. Uh, openly, they will openly be taking control away from humans. No more illusion uh, of what's been going on for the last uh, couple thousand years. Now, return of the the gods or those that we have known as uh, those Greco-Roman deities. Now, not all gods are the same. Again, as this is something we've gone into in different videos. But yeah, they can't have humans um, going about and moving about freely. It, it just is too messy. It's too hard for them to keep track of. Because again, we're just one planet amongst many, many planets. As you see, G here, look at, notice the conformity. All the kids in their little jumpsuits, you know, no uniqueness, no individuality. It's no, we're striving for the greater whole. China, which has more pollution than any country on the planet, they're planting trees. Well, now that we've ruined the environment so much, let's plant a few trees and have a great photo op. Yeah, everybody happy? Okay, get back to the mines, kids. You had enough time out. That's the reality. And here they keep giving us little clues on things. Theia slammed into Earth, left marks, and then formed the moon. So it says a, a study. This, was, this particular article is from last November. But it says long ago our solar system lost a planet. Yes, it did. Uh, now the reality is it, it, it's captured in the Sumerian stories. It was Tiamat. And, and, and in reality, there's been many planets and even stars lost in this war that's ongoing. It's much bigger than anybody really has a clue of unless you understand this whole situation with, with Tiamat. But here they're talking about that they've found these huge blobs uh, each is roughly twice the mass of the moon deep within the earth uh, that shows evidence of some other body. Well, you know, as we were talking about in yesterday's uh, Patreon video, and we were talking about Roger at Mud Fossil, this is another Younger Dryas event underway, guys. This is a new ELE that, that we are all part of. What happened in the Younger Dryas period where so much life was lost on the planet is happening right now. There's no difference, no change. It's the same thing. Um, the only change is that, you know, this that they're talking about here, where they're saying the moon was formed from this uh, catastrophic event of two planets colliding and part of one planet is still in the Earth, is what they say. The reality is Earth was taken from Tiamat. The moon was brought into place just relatively recently, back in that Younger Dryas e event. And so we went into detail over here along with uh, some interesting DNA, M-A-R-N-R, let's just say, uh, information as well. That was a Patreon exclusive. 
uh, that we did yesterday. I invite everybody to join us over on Patreon as well. There's a lot of things that just don't make sense with the science that they give us. Native Americans conducted large-scale copper mining 6,000 years ago. Really? They're living in teepees. Uh, they're shooting bows and arrows. You know, they, they, they are barely conquering agriculture. Uh, they're doing large-scale copper mining 6,000 years ago. Lake Superior region, prehistoric pollution. Yeah, they're they're full of it. They're full of it. The reality is uh, humans are still slaves in, in parts of this world. We're all slaves, really, in, in the economic system when you get down to it. Until we get out of the economic system, we are not free. Yeah, that's the bottom line. This is still ongoing in Africa. There's been... Uh, movies done, videos done about just how horrible this is. Just like here in the U.S. in in days gone by, you will have little ones. As soon as they're able to start to help, they are helping. And and these kids are mining. This is in Africa. This is slavery still ongoing. It's uh, Economic slavery is still slavery. It is still slavery. The earth is still being worked for its non-terrestrial masters and we have depictions of them and and they view it this as sport you know them and and their offspring uh because again they are humanoid uh and some are a little bit more towards the scaly side but but still you know they are able to have offspring uh with humans because you know this homo sapiens body was um genetically modified to meet their their numbers, their stats, get the work done, but not be as swift as some of the ones that came before Homo sapiens. It's quite the opposite. Humans have been being dumbed down and having their DNA turned off. And instead of we are being, instead of us as the pinnacle of civilization, actually we're on the lowest rungs of what's been here. It's exactly the opposite. As you see a slave master of gigantic proportion, with the humans that are showing, you know, signs of terror because this being is is much larger uh, than them, and he's cracking the whip. This is the reality. I mean, you have these depictions. Now they dressed like we did in order to make us more comfortable with them. They will come now in more like what we see is is kind of like what you would expect uh, Star Trek or you know, some other uh, sci-fi stories, more like jumpsuits and things like that, and uh, a little bit more spandexy. You've probably already seen the dress at some Madonna halftime show or Beyonce video. Mm-hmm. They do that, and it's 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 uh, just part of the plan, part of the game, is to try to, you know, blend in so there's they're not too shocking. But, uh, you know, as far as people... Uh, believing in the mainstream religion when they see the word my father, our father, or Lord, or God in heaven, do they realize that they're talking about one of these guys here on the screen that's holding that human by the neck with a rope? That's who they are praying to, and they just don't even get it. And I mean, if you really sit and and think about it, the creator of all, are are they really going to be doing a lot of the things that are mentioned in in the Bible? You know, and that's why I can't go along with the Bible. I I don't believe in so much of that. But at the same time, when I say that I don't I don't condone slavery, and I'm not going to go along with slavery, I'm not going to go along with a writing or or an ancient scripture that says that it's okay and that humans should obey their earthly masters. No, that's not for me. That's not for me. And it's it's a pretty simple. Uh, rebuttal, I think, for people who are kind of in the same boat. They they don't feel like they should have to stand up and defend themselves if the other person who does believe in the Bible, if they've really truly read it and they condone it. Um, you shouldn't have to stand up to that. It, it should be a given. If you look at this book and really, really read it and understand it and sit with it, it's not a good book. Because it's a revisionist story that is is told to us by the slave masters. And yeah, absolutely. What we saw go on with the raiding of people and the bringing them in uh, to the U.S. Is, is an atrocity. 
And yet it's happened before and it is still going on. That's the realization. It, it's right there in front of our faces. Why do you think, you know, this being has wings and is flying above the other giants who are controlling people? And you got humans tied at the hands, tied at the neck. This says it all. They look like us, but they're bigger than us and they have the ability to fly and we are slaves. It's exactly what's said in the Sumerian stories. And you, th you look at these cartoons. The, this is from January 24th, 1863. And from Harper's Weekly, a slave pen in New Orleans. Before the auction. Before the auction. It's an atrocity. And they were auctioned off. And it's all throughout the Bible. There are so many uh, different different um, parts of the Bible, both Old Testament and New that condone slavery. And there have been so many articles written by those that are theologians and just simply fundamentalist minded saying it's not condoning slavery. It, humans choose to do this, um, but God doesn't really condone it. Well, yeah, you know, Colossians, Paul, Paul, Colossians, you know, slaves obey your human masters. Yes, obey your human masters just as you would God. The fear of God is, is the root of all wisdom. Well, you know why? Because they're the ones with the whips. Yet, if you look to a lot of these ancient sites, 200,000-year-old uh, sites found in Africa that perfectly match Sumerian descriptions of the gold mining operations of the Anunnaki and the city of Enki, and it, it, you, you cannot make this up. This is real. It, it's so obvious that the, those stories are based on literal fact. The Enuma Elish. Now, they will have gods usurp other gods' positions. So, you know, Marduk taking over kind of the position of those that went before him. This is exactly, you have to think in terms of, of titles in so many ways as Enki is Lord of the Earth and Enlil, you know, up in the sky there. And then Anu, you'll, you'll find uh, references even to the word Anu in other cultures. This is the thing. It's so fascinating to un uncover all this. And, you know, on high, on high, Lord of the gods of, the hev of heaven and earth. Yeah, you know, again, coming from out there. And yet we are also talking about an interdimensional and so here, Marduk and the battle over Tiamat, he defeats the elder goddess Tiamat. This is saying that the Anunnaki, the dra draconian controlled Anunnaki with the GG, you know, they're slave masters from Mars, basically, that they, they leave in charge here, which are our elites, uh, so to speak hidden in the secret societies and hidden in the religious orders, um, they leave the Gigi in charge here and they go back off. And, you know, with the Gigi uh, being able to be completely blended in with the Homo sapiens sapiens and interbred with them. But it's, it's really, a, again, it's, it's kind of a title. Tiamat was the planet, you know, elder goddess Tiamat. Yeah, you know, that goddess energy that, no, uh, uh, oh gosh, I, I don't worship any goddess energy, only our father in heaven that keeps us as slaves. Yet, I mean, that's what you might as well be saying, because again, these, these are a lot of the people that, that believe this. It's because they were brought up a certain way, and it might be fear of the belt, fear of the, you know, whip, fear of, you know, the back of the hand, if you, if you misbehave, if you, if you question the authority, think about that, you know, it's, it's brought in from pain of punishment, don't you question your parents, don't you question, you know, the priests, don't speak up to your elders, while it's nice to see respect, and also it's nice to see, um, honoring those that went before us when they are upholding something that's wrong we have to point it out recognition sometimes is the hardest thing ever and, and it can take time for people 
to realize where did their belief system come from. Um, they Many times they have to think back and, and then you ask that question and they think back and then, yeah, it did come from a fear-based energy, you know, something with a threat of hellfire and damnation. Things really shouldn't be that way. There's no need for them to be that way. This is a very symbiotic planet. The only reason there needs to be that kind of fear and that kind of retribution for anybody who doesn't believe the way the controllers want you to believe is because it threatens their ability to control you. And our belief system is the halter that they put on your head and lead people around like cows and sheep. Um, it's that control thing is it's a belief system. It's, it's a thing and our belief system can really make us or break us. And that's why they hone in on it so much. I just, I really cannot, uh, pound that into the world enough that the belief system is what they need control over probably even more than one's breath. I mean, it, it's most important. Yeah, absolutely. So what this is really, really talking about is the destruction of Tiamat, the rebirth of Tiamat as Earth, and under the control of this conquering warlike entity. And this is the reality. But of course, it's it's told from the position of the victors. So they, they turn Tiamat into something negative, and they turn Marduk and the Anunnaki into something positive and this is also what we see oh time and time again from all the different uh, myths and legends around the world the battle of the titans and titanic natural forces uh, against the the gods the younger gods you know or sometimes you know called the elder gods uh, these are talking about a, a complete takeover of the planet and a redoing of the planet because again when you look to tiamat it, it talks about um the goddess a personified goddess tiamat which cindy was getting into yesterday and the sweet waters underground oh yes you know we could drink water without ever worrying about any sort of toxicity in these ages before this system was in place in fact everything that's parasitic in nature has been placed here intentionally by the system you know from the ticks uh to the gmo mosquitoes and stuff we don't we don't even see those type of things here in the other ages it, it was not meant to be this way the earth was not meant to be tilted it was meant to be straight up and an even uh, kind of like an eternal uh, springtime on the planet in a gentle climate that was not harsh. No, you know, again, when you have in the Bible uh, women being cursed because, you know, woman's intuition maybe is better than typical man's intuition. Uh, and you cannot eat of those apples of eternal life and the knowledge of good and evil. You have to basically, you know, stay in the dark and be a slave and trust what the system tells you is what they're saying. No, you know, then being cursed to pain and childbirth and the cycles of the moon. There's a reason why lunacy is, is taken from Luna. Because the moon is is affecting our it, it, the gravitational effects. It, it, we're mostly water, so it's affecting our emotions. It's affecting our cycles. It's affecting our health. The system will say you cannot live without it. If if the moon wasn't there, the Earth would be just inhabitable. But you know that's their world. That it's not our world. It was much more a paradise before the system came into place. And, you know, this is just going over, and I've touched on this before. There are so many points in the Bible all talking about slavery and, you know, giving you laws. I mean, and it's also in, as I talked about with Colossians 3.22, and, and Ephesians 6.5 echoes that. Slaves obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Yes, in 1 Timothy 6, 1 through 2. As Christians who are slaves should give their masters full respect so that the name of God and his teaching will not be shamed. 
No, you know, you, you must show respect to the slave masters. There should be no slave masters. Slavery is never right. So this should tell you a lot about, you know, the Bible, the Torah, and the Koran, because they are all part of the system. There is no need for one entity to be master over another just because of their size, just because of their technology, just because of their age and their understanding. They have more information. They have more data. I mean, if anything, that being that's much larger should be the most gentle being. It should be the most caring, the most understanding. Because knowing when you have a lot of power, you really should behave in such a manner that people are not going to be afraid of you. When you have a lot of power, you also have a lot of responsibility. So it's definitely not a symbiotic nature when these Anunnaki come here and they want to create a Bible and tell us that that's our belief system and if you don't believe in it, you're going to burn in hell forever. That's not the way a very large and powerful person should behave. Absolutely. And the reason we bring this up is because they're really fulfilling at this point in time one of their main uh, prerogatives, which is to have uh, Islam and Christianity basically destroy the world as we know it in its conflict um, that's coming up in WW3, which is breathing uh, at our front door as we speak. So again, so much of this is simply belief systems which are pushed on us and ways of viewing the world which are ways that keep us constantly in the dark and just simply fighting each other instead of looking and saying, it's somebody else doing this. So again, does, does that mean, you know, humans don't have the right to self-defense? Yes, just know who you should be defending yourself against. Source blessed and namaste. Namaste.